My name is Captain Rico Acosta. I'm uh, the Senior Defense Counsel at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. When I first arrived at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, I was a legal assistance attorney. That was a very rewarding position because I really got to help Marines with real problems. Family law issues, consumer law issues, when they were deploying wills and estate planning issues. About 18 months after that, I came over to the defense shop and I've been a uh, defense counsel since. Now I'm uh, scheduled to come to Camp Pendleton where I'll be a battalion staff judge advocate uh, for deploying infantry battalion. Uh, to become a, a staff judge advocate in the Marine Corps, uh, it takes obviously time, uh, education, experience. The staff judge advocate is the, is the principal or the primary legal advisor to a commander. If you want to deploy an environment, obviously, law of war, or rules of engagement are going to be the, uh, the center of the things that you do. But you also have the other collateral judge advocate responsibilities of you know, uh, advising them on military justice issues disciplinary issues uh, and, and things of that, that nature. I'm the Deputy Chief Judge of the Navy Marine Corps Trial Judiciary. The primary difference between the role of a military judge and a civilian judge is the fact that civilian judges have jurisdiction pretty much 24-7, whereas a military judge has jurisdiction over the specific cases that are referred for trial by convenient authorities or, or commanders. Currently, I'm the Regional Defense Counsel for the Western Region. In that capacity, I supervise all Marine Defense Counsel uh, on the West Coast at all any of our bases and stations, and any Marines, we will represent any Marines throughout the Western United States. It's a great opportunity to be able to interact with young new judge advocates, to uh, help mentor them, and help improve their practice of law. I get to observe them, give them feedback. I really believe that, the, that how we learn to practice law is by teaching each other. If those of us who are a little more experienced don't pass on that knowledge and teach the junior counsel, we're not doing our job, I don't think, um, because someday they're going to be the RDC for the Western region. As a judge advocate and as a military judge, you're going to be presiding over cases that draw a lot of media attention, potentially. It's important that you stay neutral. It's important that you don't get distracted by the media or outside influences and that you preside over cases and you handle cases in a fair and impartial way. I think it's important to start off with a broad base of different legal experiences, but eventually you have to start finding your niche and, and focusing your career in that area of law. So you are the subject matter expert and they know they have the duty expert when they're, when they're needing an answer in your particular field. Many of my friends from law school do have great jobs and exciting careers, but I'll be honest, I would not change my career my job has given me incredible opportunities to advance, to work on interesting cases, to travel the world, to take my family on travels around the world, and it's been nothing short of fantastic.